So today I'm going to show you some pores on paper. And I have this photo paper. I have one piece of Canon photo paper, Epson photo paper, I'll put the link below. And then I have a whole pack of the cheaper photo paper. So here's my platform, it's foam core covered in contact paper. And then I just taped the two raw edges, but I overlapped so it's completely waterproof. And I added some stands so I could hold it. Need to add some handles after I've tried it now. So we just line up the paper and I have some sticky tape on this one. And this is the cheaper paper that's not resin coated. I'm going to try that first just dry and see how that one goes. So I'm not going to show you the cup layering for this one because um, this is the dry cheaper photo paper without the resin coating. And it doesn't really work out very well as you'll see in a minute so I'm just going to speed up through this part. So the reason I'm trying out the paper is I came across this video and I have over 400 canvases probably by now. Some of them are small canvases, but I have nowhere to put them or store them and they get ruined sticking together. So I thought this could be a good way so I can pour as much as I want without having to worry about storing all the canvases. And so here you can see it's already, this paper is already starting to warp and I pretty much just give up on that one. So this is my piece of resin coated premium photo paper. I have a single piece because I was packing and of course I donated all my photo paper. I had millions of different kinds but I had one piece of this particular paper and I just put it on there flat and dry. And so this one um, you'll see works out pretty well. So as I'm tilting it, it it's working like a canvas. There's no distortion except maybe the pieces of tape that I stuck down which I probably wouldn't do in the future where I'd get um, double-sided tape so it's not as thick as rolled up um, regular tape so yeah this one's working out pretty well I can work with the composition as you would a canvas I'm staying flat no warping that I saw so I'm gonna fast forward because this is not about how I made the painting it's about the paper so let me move this forward so here's the end. I have it pretty much where I want it. I would put some handles in the future because my fingers were in between the paper and the platform and that distorted it a little bit. So I'm just removing the excess paint underneath. Um, the platform is completely waterproof so I don't know what would happen if the paint stayed there. So I'm going ahead and wipe it off but you can see it's flat, not distorted. Everything looked pretty good. And Here is the photo paper. It's the top, the premium glossy photo paper. So here's the dried result of the photo paper trial. So it dried perfectly flat and it looks good. A little dirty on the back. I might have to adjust the platform a little bit, but overall this seemed to work pretty well and it. it's a little shiny. Um, I used old paint so there's some bubbles and little pieces of junk in there but I wasn't really trying to make a really pretty painting I was just trying to test out the paper so um, these are not my colors and I don't really like this painting but the paper works so that's what I wanted to check so. so for the next trial I used this cheap white cap brilliant white photo paper um, I got this at Big Lots it's a thinner paper and it's not resin coated on the back so um, I decided to wet the paper this time so I have my same platform that I had before. I'm removing all the extra water. I just want it to be wet but not soaking wet. And so I'm going to remove the water from the top surface as well. And since this wasn't a resin coated backing, it's kind of just regular paper, I wet both sides of the paper. And I got this idea from the Left Brain Artist. I'll link the video in the description and a few other videos that I got the inspiration for the platform and a few other things as well in case you find those videos um, interesting. So I did remove the tape from the platform on this one because the paper is wet. It'll deform a little bit easier so I didn't want those little tape bubbles to be in the way. And I'm just going to fast forward through all of this since it's not that exciting and it's not the best color choice. But you can see it behaved just like the um, premium photo paper. It didn't really warp and there's not much to say bad about it, it worked just like the other paper did. So here is the cheaper photo paper result. This is the wet pour and it looks pretty good actually. Um, the 
paper kind of stuck to the platform a little bit and I had trouble getting it off and it's just regular paper so it ripped. Probably next time if I remove it sooner that won't happen. But that made the edges a little less nice than they should be. But you can see overall it's pretty flat. It looks good. Um, there's nothing really bad about it. It's a little thinner than the other paper because it's not premium paper. But I think this will work out just fine um, now that I know how to do it. So to compare the two, I think they're pretty similar. I think with these papers maybe just discount the edge since the overhang causes a little bit deformity. And even on the nice paper there's a little bit of fading on the edge. So if you just ignore the edge, these came out really well. So they're pretty comparable. One's a little thinner than the other, but imagine instead of a bunch of canvases, you could take these pieces of paper and pour all you want and then kind of stack them up like a book and then just have a book of all your paintings. And you can also keep all your paintings too so you don't have to get rid of them. So I like this idea a lot and you're probably going to see me pouring on these in the future because I just don't have any room anymore. But I think this was a successful experiment. Hopefully I can find some larger photo paper. I'm probably not going to buy it but I might be testing out a few other papers in the future. But So let me know what you think about this experiment and if you think you would ever use this. I can see this useful for new techniques that I haven't tried before and then I can just test out on the paper and keep the results. So let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.